Yo, hello folks, welcome back to the channel. I am once again in No Man's Sky, the glorious VR, but this time testing the latest uh, DLSS 4.5. And uh, honestly, I have to tell you, this looks absolutely amazing. As you can see, extremely crisp. And I'm gonna show you uh, my settings uh, in a second. Uh, but what I want to tell you guys, not only it looks uh, fantastic all maxed out, it performs incredibly well. And I'm gonna show you in this video the frame rate I am getting in different planets uh, to show you how things uh, have changed. And I'm gonna show you also in this video how to enable DLSS 4.5 through the NVIDIA app, okay? But while I do so, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And as you can see, the level of clarity is absolutely stunning even when I move. For example, in the past, I don't remember being this clear, especially when you had these kind of things like uh, this vegetation like this. It's uh, insane. And performance-wise, I, I should say, is pretty decent with, uh, you know, 69, 71 FPS on this, uh, uh, you know, uh, planet, which is, uh, you know, pretty awesome, I should say. But uh, we are here to test uh, this game in other environment and see if things change. I want to just show you that I have uh, everything completely maxed out and I, I can show you to you right now. You see, everything is on ultra. Uh, only DLSS is on quality. And uh, honestly speaking, uh, you know, it, I, I think it is uh, massively improved compared uh, to the past as you can see so let's go and see to some other planets and in space uh, how this game performs right now I don't I am on my ship I can see that on the ship perhaps you get some frame rate drops uh, but uh, not that much and let's go let's play around a little bit just to see if we get some frame rate drops but actually no seems like that uh, the the um, frame rate is pretty much stable and let's go in space we have some stuttering we don't very much smooth transition from uh, the planet to space so let's go to another planet uh, and see how that is let's see so in space it looks like that the frame rate is pretty much constant you see 88 fps can't complain right so we are entering in the planet so let's see how it is the transition to the planet uh, so far so good we got the frame rate drop to 77 78 but it's not bad at all it's still pretty smooth Right, it doesn't seem to have a major stuttering, which is already a good thing. This doesn't seem a planet very demanding from a performance perspective. But now let's we land. You can see some stuttering a little bit, just a little bit. But okay, seems okay. Let's go. You yeah, consider that uh, I'm not using any, uh, you know, SSW. I think, uh, you know. I'm getting a very good performance here, 77 FPS, 73, that's not bad, I would like to check uh, some other, some other planet, terrain manipulator, do I get the frame rate drop, not so much, 70, still perfectly playable and perfectly smooth, I mean this is the effect of the LSS, it has to be, because you know otherwise it would have been much worse, I remember performance was much worse especially when uh, this uh, gravity anomaly was taking place uh, you know I, I think uh, I think uh, yeah there's a massive improvement of performance Wow Wow impressive let's go and try another planet maybe you can uh, right there's a little bit of land over here it's better I think the surface of the planets from far away also improved already. I can see that there are more objects and despite that the performance looks pretty awesome. 
with some drops obviously but uh, doesn't feel like it's dropping and so it's good to be next to the water because I want to see whether its performance uh, is uh, affected so let's go and have a look honestly 64 65 FPS 66 I think it's pretty good I think it is pretty good considering that you know I have everything maxed out 65 that's pretty awesome pretty awesome frame rate for this game for what it is and uh, you know this seems like that the performance uh, is quite consistent wherever you look this time before it wasn't like this you know it depends on where you look that uh, you, you had the massive frame rate drops uh, now seems uh, pretty much very well optimized even in VR so let's have a look at how the performance changes and the, qual the visual quality changes with the ultra performance and performance for the DLSS. So let's see. Display and graphics. Uh, let's go to the DLSS. Let's put it on uh, ultra perf performance. Okay. Okay. So we gained. Oh, wow. Wait a second. Okay, so we gained uh, quite a lot uh, in frame rate. So we went from 60 into the 80s. And I can tell you, you don't see a lot of difference on this planet. Even in things, uh, oh my goodness gracious. This is insane. Holy shit. Oh my god! Honestly, the visual quality seems insanely good. I, I don't know. I don't know. Is, is it placebo effect? I, I don't think so. I don't think so. Let me let me try to put like a ultra performance and see if I can see some visual artifact or something. Okay, no, I can see that. Yes, okay. So I can see a. F further, I, I can see more degradation of the image, I have to say. I have to say from performance to ultra performance, I can see the density of the pixels over here changing quite a lot on this structure over there. And uh, strangely, the performance didn't change too much, but look at that. Now I'm going to put it back again uh, uh, performance. Mm, nice. So, so I can see the difference in the different in the distance. So I believe, from my personal perspective, that the quality is the way to go. Okay, quality is the way to go. Now, if I put uh, uh, DLAA, look at this. DLAA is gonna go in the 40s. Yes. Mm. For not much an improvement, I have to say. So, the way to go is use DLSS on quality, okay? Because I think this is, yeah, this is the best compromise between FPS and, and the visual quality, I, I think. Obviously, as a other thing I said in the past, uh, you can improve further the FPS by changing the planet quality, okay? Put it in on enhanced. Okay, especially if you are CPU bound, put it on enhanced and that will increase your frame rate. I don't do it because it's not really much for me. I, I'm pretty happy with what I have now, so I, I leave everything on ultra. Okay, right, so to enable DLSS 4.5, all you need to do is to go into the NVIDIA app, okay? Then you go on settings and you go on about right in this tab over here and you make sure that you tick this uh, box over here opt-in to access the beta or experimental feature so the, what will happen after that is that the app will download and install a beta uh, version for this app okay so once you do that and you are using uh, the nvidia app this is the version 11.0.6.374 or above okay then you go on the graphics settings okay and you go to nomen sky right here and then you scroll all the way down and you see over here when you find the dlss override model preset you click on that and you select 
the latest and then you click on apply i already done that that's why it doesn't give me anything anymore but that's how you enable dlss 4.5 for no man's sky okay I hope this video was uh, helpful for you and if so please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you very much for watching. We are dead signing out.